time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. Good evening. This is David Ross. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope. Mr. William Bradford Huey and Mr. Elliot Haynes. Our distinguished guest for this evening is Dr. Y. T. Pyon, Foreign Minister of the Republic of Korea. Mr. Pyon, it's a pleasure to have you with us uh, on this Christmas season. Our viewers, of course, are aware that about 300,000 American soldiers have been fighting in your country for a long time and are standing shoulder to shoulder with about 400,000 of your countrymen. Now, sir, uh, here in America, we are thinking about what can be done to get on with the war in Korea. And one of the things that's been suggested is that more Asiatics may be brought into South Korea to help hold the line there and carry on the war. And we'd like to know uh, some of your country's reactions. Now, first of all, sir, it's been suggested that Japanese troops might be used in South Korea. Now, what would be the reaction in your country if Japanese troops came there? Well, uh, we uh, might uh, be forced to fight Japanese first instead of fighting uh, the communists. You would be so opposed to the Japanese coming there that you might actually open fire on them. Well, probably, yes. Well, now, why why uh, does this animosity exist between your country and the Japanese, sir? Well, uh, the, uh, I may give you a few reasons. Uh, the first is that uh, the communists in my country will start, uh, you know, like uh, patriots, real patriots, fighting uh, the uh, southern Koreans who uh, have Japanese our former enemy um, as al allies. Well, Mr. And it is Mr. Pyon, yes. do you feel that the Japanese would like to take your country over to sort of invade it again, as it were? Well, we very much fear that. You do fear that? Yeah, and I may go on with giving you more reasons why we are against uh, the idea of bringing Japanese into Korea. Uh, the second reason is uh, the, that will uh, greatly lower the fighting morale uh, of the ROK forces. If the Japanese came in, your men who are now fighting so gallantly yeah. would not want to continue fighting in the same manner. Uh, they will always feel the uh, humiliation of having allies as their, um, you know, uh, the former enemy. Former enemy. And uh, in killing uh, yeah. our own brethren in law. Is there a, a third reason, Mr. Pyon? Yes, there is one more reason. We never trust in the Japanese any communist uh, a, a, a flank attack on Japan itself might uh, force them to turn their coat overnight. And that uh, will make the defense of uh, the Korean line almost impossible. You think that if the communists attack Japan, Japan might turn over and make peace with the communists and leave Korea defenseless? Is that oh, it? Oh, I think uh, that is one of the probabilities. I see. Now, that's a very serious thing here in America. Do you, are you implying, sir, that uh, Japan is not a reliable ally of the United States in the world war against communism? Well, well, uh, you know, anyway, uh, they will um, uh, do what they think. Uh, 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 you think they're sitting on the fence now? Interest. Yes, what they, they're sitting. And the war situation may change, you know, mm -hmm. and they might change their mind. Well, now, Mr. Pyong, talking about the Japanese doing what's in their best interests, and that might include going mm -hmm. over to the communists, I understand that many Koreans feel that they're uh, waxing very fat on the present war and leaving Korea to do all the fighting while they prosper. Is that right? Oh, yes, yes. Well, anyway, the uh, Korean aid uh, is channeled through Japan. And uh, we 
live here, there are many, many pro-Japanese, uh, uh, you know, uh, foreign friends of Korea who uh, try to benefit Japan as far as possible in the name of Korean aid. Uh, you know, they uh, hesitate to build up Korean industry in order to get things uh, from Japan. The Japanese are receiving American aid that Korea should get, in other words. Yes. That's and true. Japanese, yes. uh, the, our, our efforts to aid Korea, you are saying, is, mm -hmm. is resulting in building up Japanese industry. That's ex uh, exactly mm -hmm. what is happening. Mr. Pyon, I understand that there's some problems about fishing rights between Japan and Korea. Yes. What is the problem there? Now uh, I will briefly explain the situation. Uh, our president uh, made a, a, a proclamation um, uh, drawing a line much closer to Korea than to Japan uh, to protect Korean fishing resources, fishery resources, you know, I mean. And Japan does not want to have that line drawn between Korea and Japan. Are it was Japan that kept Korean industry, you know, primitive, undeveloped uh, by uh, monopolizing the uh, uh, now, fishery uh, in Korea yeah. for the past 40 years. And now they're doing the same thing. Same thing. I and see. not only that, these fishing boats will turn out moving phases of smuggling and that will dip the uh, Korean possibility uh, of uh, economic self sufficiency in the past. Well, sir, now, if you are so opposed to the Japanese that, uh, that if they came in, there might be actual war between your people and the Japanese, what about the Chinese nationalists? What about the proposal that uh, Chinese nationalist troops be moved from Formosa to Korea? Are you also opposed to that, sir? We, we uh, uh, do uh, for uh, a few uh, reasons. And what's the first reason you oppose the Chinese uh, nationalists? Well, uh, from the uh, uh, point of view of uh, global strategy, we believe Chinese divisions should be used on the mainland of China when the opportunity comes. One Chinese division used there, uh, rightly, would be worth 10 used elsewhere, including Korea. And the second reason is uh, that might um, uh, bring uh, more confusion to the Korean situation, which is already uh, uh, very much confused, by bringing over the Chinese Civil War to Korea. And the third reason is that might uh, give the Japanese an opening uh, uh, through which uh, 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 it, it can send its troops to Korea. And invade Korea again, yes. Well, Mr. Pyong, um, if you don't want Japanese troops in Korea and you don't want Chinese troops in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, that means that you have to fall back on your own Korean troops to mm -hmm. bolster the United Nations battle line. How many troops do you think you might uh, uh, recruit for that purpose? You mean... Uh, to expand? Yes, expand the uh, rock well, military force. You know, uh, I don't know the uh, exact number of the Korean troops because that uh, is supposed to be the military secret, but uh, I uh, imagine there may be um, uh, over uh, 400,000 of Korean troops, and uh, uh, that number can be doubled Double. in the near future, and we have uh, more manpower than that uh, than for that expansion. But the question uh, is, uh, well, uh, how can we Koreans with this, uh, uh, their disrupted economy, support them in feeding and so on? The well. problem is then uh, not mm -hmm. the number of men which you can furnish, but how to support them and equip them and, and keep their families alive at home. Mm -hmm. Is the exactly. um, economic state of Korea a bad one right now? Oh, it, uh, it's uh, b beyond description. Is you there know, great suffering? Description. Great suffering, suffering among your now people? Now, in cities, you never notice uh, such, uh, you know, um, um, uh, but in uh, outlying countries, people uh, simply uh, vanish by thousands um, because of lack of food Starvation. and so on. Mm -hmm. And young, young men are uh, going to the front for fighting, leave their families, 
uh, feeding on uh, tree bugs and grass, and of course their fighting morale can be very high. Well, Mr. Pyong, um, it's been several years or over a year now that the United Nations has supposedly been helping Korea to reconstruct its economy and rehabilitate its economic life. Apparently they haven't helped very much, is that right? Well, I don't think so. Uh, uh, indeed, much has been done. Uh, but, you know, there are many bottlenecks, you know, be because uh, a war is still going on. And I may tell you uh, very briefly how uh, things stand uh, where they are now. Uh, you know, a 15 billions have gone into destructive war that has been limited to my small country for the last 13 months. And only a 300 pa uh, million dollars have gone uh, for rehabilitation and relief. Well, and uh, the greatest bottleneck uh, lies in transportation. In shipping, yes. Uh, shipping. So well, Mr. Pian, I'm sorry, sir. Our time is up. But I'm sure that our viewers have appreciated these expressions of yours tonight, and thank you for being with us. Well, it's I that should thank you. The opinions you've heard our speakers express tonight are entirely their own. The editorial board for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope was Mr. William Bradford Huey and Mr. Elliot Haynes. Our distinguished guest was Dr. Y. P. Pyun, Foreign Minister of the Republic of Korea. The problem of selecting a gift of great prestige for someone near and dear to you is most happily solved with a Longines watch. Throughout the world, no other name on a watch carries as much prestige as Longines, the world's most honored watch. 10 World Fair grand prizes and 28 gold medals for excellence and elegance, and highest honors for accuracy from the leading government observatories have made Longines, in fact, the world's most honored watch. Now, whenever you need to present a gift of great prestige, for a birthday, for an anniversary, for an important occasion, remember these facts. And remember, too, that you may buy and own, or buy and proudly give, a Long Jean watch for as little as seventy-one fifty. Long Jean, the world's most honored watch, premier product of the Long Jean Whitnor Watch Company, since 1866, maker of watches of the highest character. We invite you to join us at this same time for the Long Jean Chronoscope the television journal of the important issues of the hour, broadcast on behalf of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world's honored Longines. This is Frank Knight, reminding you that Longines and Whitnor watches are sold and serviced from coast to coast by more than 4,000 leading jewelers who proudly display this emblem, Agency for Longines Whitnor Watches. Challenging Entertainment, Omnibus on the CBS Television Network.